Gravy. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. We are doing makeup in the summer. I know if it is hot, like it's hot where I am, it is over 100 degrees. You are like, girl, we don't want to wear makeup. It's hot here. I know if that is how you feel, this may not be for you, but you still gotta go outside. There's weddings, there's events, you gotta do what you gotta do. So today, I'm telling you some of my tips and my tricks and giving you what I do to do your base and bear the heat. What I do to make your face withstand the heat. Sweat proof, heat proof tips for your makeup. If you are interested on how I got this face, how it's gonna withstand 102 degrees that it is here in South Carolina today, then stay tuned. Okay y'all, so I have brought you in a little closer. First things first, I literally just broke my nail. I was going to glue it on just for this video. I have a nail appointment tomorrow and my nail tech would not like that. So just bear with me, first things first. We're just gonna get that out of the way. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows. We're not gonna waste any time with that. I want to get straight to creating this summer proof, heat proof, sweat proof, well, sweat resistant, heat resistant face. I'm in the south, it is 100 degrees here. Literally, we have a heat advisory here. Again, it's ideal to not have to wear makeup, but sometimes you gotta do what you do. You gotta push through, there's events, there's things we have to do. So, the most important thing is going to be creating a base that is built for the heat and can withstand the heat. So, I'm gonna start with my primer. I'm using the one size Secure the Blur Primer. These steps are gonna kinda be the same no matter what products you're using. Um, again, you don't wanna use anything that's gonna be like super hydrating or anything like that. I am oily combination. Um, so everything that I use is going to be focusing on mattifying somewhat. I don't use anything that is used for like dry skin. Um, so this is the primer that I am going with. I typically use this or the Milk Makeup um, Hydro Grip Primer and I kind of alternate between the two and I've already put on my sunscreen. This is going to be going for more of a full coverage look. I do like the Fenty Hydro Visor sunscreen um, skin tint, but I'm going for more of a full coverage look today. Okay, so now that we have the primer on, what we're gonna do that's a little bit different than if we were doing a regular face and before we put our foundation on, I'm gonna go in with this loose powder. This is Fenty. Um, this is in the shade Nutmeg. This is their Pro Filter Powder. And I'm going to set my face before I put any powder on. So I'm gonna set my primer all over. And this is just going to help hold that foundation, dry out any extra moisture, any extra um, sweat anything this is gonna stop any of that from breaking through so we're just gonna set the base okay now that we put that powder down I'm gonna go in with my NARS soft matte foundation this is in the shade New Caledonia deep 2 I love this foundation for a good matte face I love NARS in general but this in their matte range is a really good soft matte base um, it still gives like skin like and soft, but it's really good just for a good even soft face. So I'm gonna apply this with a brush. I like to get a full coverage with it with a brush versus using a beauty blender, especially when you set your face with powder, you get a really good full coverage face and you don't need a ton of it. So using the powder really gives a nice finish. You can barely even tell where I put it versus where I put it, um, where I didn't put it when you set it with the powder first. Okay, my foundation all is on. Next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go in with my all nighter and I'm gonna do my first set. So we're gonna be setting a few different times and again, that's to really 
hold everything in make sure once you start sweating once that heat starts breaking through nothing is changing our face our face isn't melting stuff doesn't start shifting around nothing's moving nothing's melting in a way that we don't want to happen so we're going to be setting a few different times before we seal it one final time next i'm going to start going in with my concealers again you can use whatever concealer you like i'm going to be using a few different combinations so i'm going to be going in with the maybelline eraser i just started using this one again um, literally like this week, but I'm going to be going in, um, this is in the shade, which one is this? This is 148. As I'm in my summer shade, um, this one has kind of been, I've been switching between this and my Too Faced because it's a little bit deeper and it's working with me right now. Um, but I'm going to apply this just to my outer edge and a little bit on my lower highlight area as well right below where i contour you can see it's a deeper color so it's not a super bright highlight you can do your regular highlight routine for this then i'm going to go in with that my pat mcgrath this is an m17 this is my lighter highlight much lighter you'll see i kind of do like an ombre highlight when i do this situation i've kind of been playing with how i highlight recently I'm actually going to pop a little bit of that Too Faced. Again, do your regular highlight situation. And I'm going to let these dry down. And then once I let them dry down, I will blend them out. You want to really let them dry down because, again, we want everything to really stick. So really let it dry down, maybe even a little bit longer than you normally would. Because we're going to set it again before we move to the next step. I'll be taking my Morphe um concealer brush i've really been liking brushes a lot more than beauty blenders lately to blend things out i feel like you just get a smoother blend i feel like it doesn't pick up as much product and it just blends it out more naturally without kind of pushing things around it just blends it where you put it so i'm going to take that and start blending in the areas that i want to blend out more and kind of let my under eye dry first And my jawline is going to look a little harsh now. We still have to contour, so this will blend out a lot more once we go in with the contour. So don't worry. Blending is going to be very important. I'm going to spray. Then I'm going to blend out this under eye. I like a bright under eye, but I also like it to still blend and look natural. You want bright, but you don't want it to be like just a random yellow triangle on your face. You want it to be like naturally bright and you want it to make sense that it's placed properly. Which is why I like to do the ombre because it flows naturally outward into my foundation okay i like to go in one more time with that lighter one right in the front and now i'm gonna let this dry down a little bit longer and we're gonna blend that out one more time okay now this time i am gonna go with the beauty blender just to blend out this lighter we're blending for our lives Remember, this is, we're going full here. We're not afraid of makeup with this look. This is not the quick summer face. This is, we have a wedding. This is, we have an event. Okay, boom. Now we're gonna go in with our under eye setting powder. I'm gonna be using Mahuda Beauty in Kanapa. Remember, you can use whatever under eye setting powder you wanna use, your Sasha, your one size, whatever you wanna use. And we're gonna set this really well. I personally do not bake. It creases from my under eye, but we are going to set it really well. We're going to press it into our under eye. We're going to do the same for those areas that we highlighted, especially forehead. I'm going to go in and set my other areas before I go with my bronzer. I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty and I'm gonna take my a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna set 
around my mouth and my forehead because they can get a little oily. Then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. I still haven't done my blush yet. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and use that as my contour, kind of brontour a little bit because I've already highlighted. This is my Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to take this brush and I'm gonna go upward and kind of chisel in in some of those spots. Just to bring some depth back in, especially around the hairline. Warm the face up some. Now for the blush. I usually, I do like a cream blush or a liquid blush. When I'm doing the face that I really want to set and really want to stay, I do try to stay away from liquid or cream products as much as possible because the more liquid oil products that you put on your face, the more likely they may be to shift around. So I just kind of try to stay away from those. So I'm going to be using more powder-based blushes. So I'm going to be using my Beauty Bakery products today for blushes. Um, I really love, this is Hey Pumpkin from Beauty Bakery. So I'm going to be taking that and mixing it with their pink blush and putting that on the apples to the sides of my cheeks just to kind of bring a little bit more color back in. I love this orange blush, it's so good. It's so good. I love a pink blush, but an orange blush on brown skin, especially in the summer, it's just so good. I'm probably got a little carried away, but it's just so good, I can't help it. And then, I didn't do any eyeshadow or anything if you want to, actually I think I might do just a teeny bit. I have all my little clusters, so I'm not doing any like additional lashes or anything. Um, but I might just do a little bit of, let me just throw a little bronze on here. This is a throwback. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. This is when the girls were just buying palettes just to buy palettes. Throw a little bronze on there. And to throw it all together, I'm just gonna throw on uh, my skin finish in dark beat. I'm gonna do my lip, going with the eyebrow pencil. I don't know where my chestnuts are. Was this a 20 minute face? Outside of my eyebrows, I think this face was 20 minutes, which means this is an under 30 minute summer face. Full coverage. This is Honey Love. Yep, this is Mac Honey Love. Mm, it's a little crazy, let's see. Let's get her together. Okay. Let's see, NYX Caramel, I think it's gonna bring the brown that I'm looking for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These two, this is the final boss. When you're doing your summer face and you're looking for what you final, like what you need, 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 to set it and forget it, all nighter meets one size is the combo that you need to set your face and make it happen to not budge. Start with your all nighter, seal it with one size. These two will have your face sitting for the remainder of the night. This is what you need for your face in the heat. These will have you completely set. So this is what you need for the rest of the night. So that's it. Hopefully somewhere in here you found some tips to help you fight the heat. I know again, ideally you're like, girl, it's hot. I don't know where to make it all, but you gotta do what you gotta do. There's weddings, there's events. You gotta take pictures. You gotta go out and wear makeup. It has to happen sometimes. So we're bearing the heat. We're beating the face. We're doing the things. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if any of these tips were useful. If you learned anything, if you have any tips on how to wear makeup in this heat, in this summer heat, let me know. Drop them in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the above, and I will see you in the next video.